Hi everyone! Today we're going to paint some different pictures of fruit and we're going to talk about color mixing and shades. In our palette, we have blue, yellow, red, black, and white. Blue, yellow, and red are called primary colors. Black and white are called shades. You can mix your primary colors to make secondary colors. And then your black and your white, you can add into any of your colors to make it a shade lighter or darker. Let's start with painting our strawberry. When strawberries are growing on the plant, they start out green. But when they ripen, they're red. So let's paint this strawberry red, and we'll paint the top green. Red is a primary color, so we don't need to add anything to make the red. When strawberries are ripening on the plant, they'll start green and then they'll turn more of a white, a red, and maybe even get some darker red. So let's add just a couple darker red spots. Now to make a darker red, we're gonna take some of our red and add just a teeny tiny amount of black. Oop, I almost put it in my white paint. That would not have been good. Let's use this brush because we want just a small, small amount. Like that. And you can see how much darker that red got with such a small amount. So let's just put some spots. Now let's paint the top green. But wait, we don't have green in our palette. So we're gonna have to mix two of our colors to make green, because green is a secondary color. Now our primary colors are blue, yellow, and red. What colors do you think we might mix to make green? We mix blue and yellow. So let's go ahead and get a big scoop of yellow. get some more. And then just a little bit of blue and mix them together. And there's our green for our strawberry top. We'll use this brush this time.
When you mix two primary colors, you get what's called a secondary color. Now if we wanted a different shade of green, we could have put in more yellow and gotten a lighter green, or more blue and gotten a darker green that had more of a blue tint to it. We made our strawberry red, which is a primary color, and then we made a shade of red that was darker by adding a little bit of black, and then we made a green top, which is a secondary color by mixing blue and yellow. Let's see which picture we have next. What fruit do you think this is? Yeah, it could be a lemon or a lime. Let's make this one a lime so that we can mix up a different shade of green than what we used last time. What two colors did we use to make green? That's right, we used blue and yellow. So let's get a bit of blue, because we're gonna make a darker blue-green for this lime. And now let's get some yellow. And we'll start there and then see. I like that color, but I think we're gonna need more to paint this lime with, so let's get another scoop of yellow and blue. You see how much darker that is than our last green? I don't know if I mixed up enough. I may have to mix up some more. One of the good things about knowing how to mix colors is that if you don't have a paint available to you, or you don't have the color you want, you can usually mix it up yourself as long as you have your basic colors. Definitely gonna have to mix up some more green. So let's get another scoop of blue. And a scoop of yellow. That one had a little more blue, it looks like, in it.
If you are mixing up your paints, it's usually a good idea to mix more than you think you might need in case you need all the same shade. Because you can see our original green that we made with the blue and yellow is slightly different than the one I shaded in up here. Our next picture is a peach. So we're gonna mix up peach color for our peach and we'll make the stem and the leaf green. Let's start with the stem and the leaf because we know which two colors make green. That's right, blue and yellow. Now for the peach, you can make peach a couple different ways, but I'm gonna do it by mixing pink and yellow. But we don't have pink. What two colors do you think we might mix to get pink? Pink is a lighter shade of red. So if we add black to make a darker shade, we would add white to make a lighter shade. So let's get some red. And I'm just gonna mix this in the middle since we're gonna need a good amount of it. I'm gonna try not to run out of my color this time. Now let's add some white. Let's add some more white. That's not quite light enough for me. And there's our pink. Now let's add some yellow. Pretty good, but I want to add a little more yellow. I always think of peach as kind of a pink orange. And there's our peach. See what I mean about mixing more paint than you think you would use? Even with all that paint I mixed up, I barely had enough. And there's our peach. To make our green, we mixed blue and yellow. 
And then to make our peach color, we mixed red and white to make pink. And then we mixed the pink with yellow to make peach. I had a great time learning about color mixing with you. I hope you had fun too. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. Bye bye.